I just had a uh, a takeaway, and there was like this slushy thing, and I know like loads of people have probably had this, but I haven't done this in years. But this is weird. Like, look at my tongue. It's weird. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is EJ the DJ, welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you an experience that we had where a random uh, magpie that we think was slightly injured because its wing did look a little bit funny. It was when a magpie randomly wandered into our house and I just glanced over whilst I was eating my breakfast and then I saw a magpie eating cat food and drinking the cat water from the automatic cat feeder. Yeah, it was very random and Everyone I told it to reacted very calmly as if this was a normal thing and in fact someone on Twitter I think may have thought that I was Illegally keeping it as a pet or something like that But I wasn't because it it literally wandered in on its own the back door was open because uh, my cats are out in the garden and Then um, and the rest of my family are out in the garden as well And then it randomly just <laughs> wandered in I guess when no one was looking so yeah, that was a bit weird. The names and credits to the song used throughout this video have been left in the description down below. As I'm talking, you'll see there's some random footage of some things that I filmed. Uh, right now, I have not slept in over 24 hours, I'm pretty sure, so I may sound lively and awake. I'm actually strangely more awake than I feel like I should be, which is kind of weird, and I, I don't like drink coffee or anything, or I don't have energy drinks either, so I find that a little bit weird considering that before I was nearly falling asleep on the sofa whilst playing a game. I think it's because I, I, uh, I had some food that might have woken me up. Anyway, so yeah, this magpie experience was really random. If anything, the most it did was kind of just put me off eating my breakfast. <laughs> I didn't know whether the thing was going to attack me or not. But uh, it seemed pretty chill. For some reason it didn't realise where on earth the back door was, or the front door for that matter, because we opened both of them so it could easily go out. Um, you'll see in the footage when it plays that it decided to chill in some random clothes that are in the uh, hallway and just sit there like it was his, like it, it was its nest or something. So um, yeah, it was really weird experience for it to just casually come in like that and go. And I was able to get some close-up pictures of it that you will see. The poor thing got covered in dust as well at one point. So uh, I hope it was able to clean that off. And I hope its wing healed well as, as well afterwards. I'm not too sure how the wing got injured. If it was injured, I hope I don't get in trouble for this video of showing like an injured magpie. Anyway, uh, other than that, I can't... Uh, I say this in every single video. I can't really think of anything. I'm telling the truth when I say that. <laughs> I don't really think of anything else to say, so other than that, I hope you'll enjoy the following video. I shall name you Edward. Easy.
charge these. Don't you know how much it costs to charge a tablet overnight? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't ride it in from this end. Tell it this way out, isn't it? It's a non-starter. Put that away for a minute. Get this with the animal out. What are you going to do? How much movement's on here? Later on before the video ends, I'd just like to say that a couple of years ago in our old house, there was a magpie in our chimney. Well, there was actually two, but unfortunately one of them was dead. But one of them, when my mum was pulling it out, it was like flapping its wings like mad trying to fly away. My mum was literally holding it by the legs and she was trying to direct it so it would go out the window. I swear I filmed that years ago, but I can't find the footage anywhere. I've searched through a bunch of my old videos on YouTube dating back to pretty much as soon as I started posting and I can't find it unless it's in a video which doesn't have a title or thumbnail actually even relating to the bird, which I seem like would be a strange thing for me to not dedicate a video towards because it seems like a very significant event. But um, yeah, I can't find it. If I, I really wanted to put it in this video to show you that, and because you know, this is a magpie kind of related instant and that was also a magpie related, related instant. Well, uh, yeah, so sorry about that. I'd like to give a shout out to Gotamo for being the first person to leave a comment on my previous video. A link will be left to his channel in the description down below. If you'd like to go and show your support to him, then please feel free to subscribe. The first three people who leave a comment on this video will be getting a shout out in my next video. Also, the names and credits to the songs used throughout this video have been left in the description down below. As you can see at the end of the footage there, the magpie did leave on its own. I think it did have an injured wing, otherwise it would, probably would have moved around more maybe. But it just went in the end, ne never heard of it after that. Something more gross than a broken bird wing was a baby bird that was dead on the patio bit in our back garden. Obviously I didn't document that because I feel like that might be against terms of service. I guess it tried to fly from its nest too soon and it just didn't know how to fly. I feel bad for it. I wish it didn't do that. It's horrible to see things like that. One of my cats, Olaf, I'm pretty sure was poking it like an idiot. There's a lot of birds now where I live. There are lots. And also, I might as well show you the footage now, but there was once a bird that appeared at my bedroom window. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess that bird was very confident and very curious when it came to human beings, but uh, I didn't get to hold it in my hand, which is a, a shame. It wasn't confident enough for that, I don't think. Also, um, I'm at the age where the pressure's on for me to need an income. Uh, I don't know if the wording's the same in America, but over here we have national insurance contributions and obviously making money as early as possible is a good thing because you know a pension and all that so the, at my age now the pressure is on to try and get an income and with doing youtube videos i i've said this to other people in my family literally today in fact I know I'm capable of doing more with the knowledge I have on doing videos. It's just, I'm a bit of a procrastinator and I know doing those things will require a lot of effort. And most of the time, I'm just sitting there playing games most of the time, like during the day or watching YouTube videos. And even if my sleep schedule is bad, at the same time, in the hours that I'm awake, I could technically edit instead of just playing games and watching YouTube. But now, since the pressure is on, I'm probably going to try and post more videos. And then once I've got the videos that I've kind of built up on my iPad that might be more, more boring than other ones that I'm capable of filming, once I've gotten those out of the way and posted, then I can focus on filming more funny, more exciting, and more interesting videos, hopefully. 
and maybe some with Leo as well because, I mean, uh, I don't know about anyone else, but when I look back at them, even though I was the one there in the moment and I've the one, I'm the one who filmed it, I'm the one who edited it, I still find some of them funny, especially the security Bob ones. And I might as well give a shout out to this channel as well. But there is now a security Bob channel, as you can see here. I hope it's fine with me showing this. So I might as well leave a link in the shout outs down below alongside Gotamo. So if you, if you want to check that out, then that's there if you want to look at it. Sorry, I just realized my mouth is probably getting way too close to the microphone there. Sorry if that got a little bit loud or windy. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to show your support. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.